Ça vient ici pour boire du bras, jouer dans la boue, manger du barbecue, puis guetter tous les formes. Bitches! It's always fun coming to Louisiana. We run into old friends, Brandon Lagar from Sudden Impact Monster Truck Racing. Man, we've known each other probably 10 years oh, or so. Oh, at least back, that, yeah. right? Now you've got a brand new, not a brand new toy, but a cool new toy to us out here this weekend. Oh, Tell me about it. Definitely. Oh, it's M5, military tank. We put a blowing alcohol engine. We took, took one out the monster truck. We grabbed the other transmission from gold. We put it in here, big, bad, and blown. We're going to make it happen. It's For all about minutes. trucks going wild, baby. Louisiana Mudfest, you know a couple things. One, the party's gonna be massive. Two, there's gonna be a ton of LSU fans everywhere. And three, you're gonna eat some delicious food. All you've gotta do is know where to find it. 
There is a mud bug. We're over here at Colfax, Louisiana, cooking up some griots, Cajun style. What I got in the pot right here, I got some uh, marinated pork. I'm gonna brown this down real good. Take this out of the pot, I'm gonna throw some fresh sausage I got in here. We're gonna brown this down real good. Put our Cajun seasoning in here, cook it down. It's gonna be so good when you're done, it's gonna make you wanna slap your mama. Slap your mama. Hey, that right there, make that right there. <laughs> this is a little, uh, special boudin that we have made up, and we, we, we letting it simmer here on the fire. Get that, get that skin kind of tight. Stop jumping off. We've been talking about all the delicious food. We found some right here. What is this all about, man? This is the alligator sauce pecan. It's pretty much uh, alligator mixed with a bunch of vegetables cooked down in a red gravy. Uh, uh, Pretty much a Cajun roux, uh, Cajun recipe. Man, it smells absolutely delicious. What's your name, boss? I'm Coon. Coon? Coon. All right, Coon. You know, last year we were out here, we learned what a coon ass was. I'm not buying that Coon is your name, dude. It, it ain't like you got coon ass tattooed on your ass or I something do. like that. I mean, come on. Right there. Tattooed straight on the ass. I'll be damned, he does have coon ass. It's right there on you. That's like a Louisiana driver's license right there. That's what that is, dude. If there ever was. <laughs> We do it in Louisiana, a little crawfish etouffee. And we got a Korean too, chef. Very good. Right now, this is John McCord coming to you on main stage. That's right, we've got trucks in the mud, we got blood in the butts, it's wild, it's crazy, right here, right now. What's up, fellas? Hey, listen, it's King of the Sling 2. This was a huge event last year. I need this to go up without a hitch. I need the best track you guys can build. Are you with me? Oh, yeah. You know we're always right on it. Don't worry All about right. it. We cool. got this. Vance, are we on the same page, biggest brother? Biggest jumps, biggest hills, holes, everything. You all got right. it all, Matt. Cool. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it, man. I'll check right. with you later. I'm really feeling good about this.
so Scott, you're the king coming into this, and as king, has your life really changed that much? Uh, not really that much, but I am a little thirsty. Yeah, me too. Oh, oh may go. I? Yeah, there you go, Matt. Thank you. So Scott, man, you must do a lot of training, right? Yeah, I'm a little stiff. Man, it is good to be king. Yes, it is. So it's really not that different, huh? Nah, it's not that bad. Cool, cool. You hungry? Yeah, I can eat. Watch this. What is this? This ain't fit for a king. No, that's not fit for a king at all. Oh, what is this crap? What would you do, though, if you were king for a day? I think somebody do this all day long. That's a little awkward, just saying. Kim, if you were king for a day, tell me what you'd do. Well, technically, Matt, I would be a queen, and I would have all the kings I want. Huh. Yeah, whatever. I'd go back 23, 24 years. Man, wouldn't that be great if we could do that? But if you went back that far, what would you look like? I'd have a mini-me. Yeah? And what would that look like? Oh. Have a nice day. So, Bubba, if you were king for a day, man, what would you do? I'd have someone rub my feet. Touch that. Come on. Hell no. Come on, man. It ain't happening. Don't touch that. Let me hear you make some noise.
the name of the truck, Scott Sweat. You are the king of the sling. There's only been two of these events, and you have won them both, man. Congratulations. Uh, it's been fun, and I've, it was a lot more competition this year than it was last year, for sure. I mean, we had a couple blower motors out here. And... Were you nervous at all going into this? I mean, I, I know you drive with a lot of confidence, but you had to have it in the back of your mind out here today that, man, there's a lot of guys out here that could take this. Yeah, I was a little nervous at first. Um, it came down to driver skill, and a lot of the guys with the big motors just couldn't see or wouldn't hold it down, so I held mine down and came out with a win. I'm Scott Sweat, and I'm the king of the sling times two. Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs>is a celebration of facial hair and this is my tribute this is all we got i got an m carved into the chin these guys right here are the real deal these are the beardos ladies and gentlemen beardo, 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 beardo. sean is it safe to say that you've been growing this out for 20 or 30 years just for this weekend that it is that, 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 <laughs> i like it that's good stuff right there that's like me in about i don't know that take me, years. i don't even think i could do it dude i love it scott man we're out here having a blast out here this weekend right um, man, tell me about your truck. Anything? Scott can't talk because Scott doesn't have a mouth. <laughs> <laughs>
Jim, this is nice right here. Let me see the rest. What's going on? Well, there's a discrepancy there, you know? The curtains don't necessarily match the carpet. What's going on? Is that, is that color? No, no. That's natural? That's natural. Does this, does this make you uncomfortable at all? No, not bad at all. No? Okay. Does, uh, does this make you uncomfortable at all? A little. A little. A little. Yeah. 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 But you were liking that. I'm not going to admit it publicly. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Publicly. Yeah. I'll see you later, Jim. Hey, take care, man. Team Toilet is taking over Maine. Tyler, man, I want to thank you for growing it out, dude. Look at that. How yeah. long is that? Oh, about a week and a half. Yeah, a week and a half. Dude. Beard you and I. Beard out, beard out, beard out, beard out. Jimmy Riggett rolling all the way up from Florida for the action out here. Bottom line is this. I don't know who's been growing it out longer, dude. You or me right there. Jimmy needs hair club for men. Jimmy does. So, Paul, what is this? What do you call this that you got going on? Well, they call it a trim up to Lewiston, where I was at the time. The trim up? Yeah, they just trimmed it up, made everything nice and neat. Just for this weekend, right? Yeah, just for this weekend. I like it, man. It's looking good. Something a little different. This is David. David, man, what's going on right here? It's just something I grew up for the weekend, you know, for partying. You know what I'm like saying? I like it, dude. It looks good. Yeah, flavor saver. Oh, Ryan, dude, you are the man. That's some of the best work we've seen out here all weekend long. I got to know, though, do you have a name for that? No, it's just there. See, that is what mine would look like if I was actually a man. Well, you gotta look forward to that. You got goals, kid. This is Zach. Zach, you're a little, I'm man enough to admit you're a little longer than I am yeah, in that bit. department. Now, let's talk about practical uses for this. Well, you know, girl has a little landing strip right above it, you know, so it's like connect the dots. So, Devin, from a female perspective, what do you think of the facial hair up here? I love it. It's hot. Really? You like it that much? I do. The hairier, the better. Skull Wild's first trip to Maine. We love it up here. It's beautiful. The action is nonstop. Everybody's beard so friendly. Up, beard beard up, beard up, beard up, beard up. Dude, it's kind of hot, dude. Seriously, I just need a beer real quick. I'll get out of here. You guys are all drinking them. You've got them in your freaking hands. Come on, I'm thirsty up here. Oh, hold on. I'm in Maine. I'm in Maine. It's, it's a beer. A beer. Oh, a beer. Oh, oh okay. It's a language barrier. That's all it is. Oh, there's Chuck D. Imagine that. Look at that. Jimmy, man, fresh out of the truck. Nice jump. How did it feel? It felt great, man. I wish we had something a little bigger. Beard up! 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 Sally saw a seashell by a seashore. My name is Squash, and who wants this truck to go wild? Bitches! So we just came through the camper. How's it feeling, man? Oh, it feels great. Yeah. Feels great. A little surface damage. You can fix that. A couple yeah, minutes. a couple springs, fender, drive shaft. Josh, did you see that he came around kind of to the right? I see him hooked in, and I knew something was going to happen. Get on the brakes, right? Oh, hit the brakes. Now look, there's not a lot left of the camper. There's not a lot left. No, that's good, but the bull's still kicking, right? The bull's still kicking. She's top. She's ready for some more beatings this weekend. Ready to buck? Ain't no doubt about that. Nice, dude. Well, let's go yeah. tear it up. This is what it's all about, guys. Right I like that. That's I like what that. it's all about. This is a public service announcement from Jimmy Reckless.
Trust on wild level, baby. I mean, oh, uh, well. Wow. So we roll into the Redneck Yacht Club, right? The first thing that happens is I get a phone call from corporate, and you never know how that's going to go. They're like, Matt, we love you. You're doing a great job, blah, 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 blah. But we got to branch out, right? we got to reach a younger demographic, a more tech-savvy group of people, the iPhone generation, if you will. So without further ado, I'm out, and let me introduce you to your new host for the day, Andy, the app. Howdy, bitches. All right, we found Brian's RV. That means there's beer around here somewhere. There's some coolers. I think that's food. Ah, here we go, right here. Oh, oh no, no, no. whoa, what is happening, dude? Uh, nothing. We don't have any beer yet. What do you mean you don't have any beer yet? You're Brian. I haven't been to the store. I'm sorry, I haven't stocked up for you. All right, man. I'll, listen, I'll come back later. Tighter, cool. Brian not having beer is very odd. I mean, it's very strange. Oh, hold on, hold on. Andy's calling me. Hey, Steel. Yeah, dude. What's up? Oh, you want to give it a shot? Yeah. Fine, let's see what you can do. Like you're going to make beer up here. I got this. Yo, hook an app up. Oh, yeah, dude, no problem. No, what? No, look, I got what right is, here. What, what, whatever you need. What are you talking I about? What's money, going on? Money. Dude, the host of Trucks Go Loud is standing right here. Matt Steele, I've been all over the world. You're killing me. You're out, bitch. But not anymore. There's an app for that. Oh, app for that. You know what? You're starting to get under my skin, you little squirrel or cat or whatever Andy is. I'll see you later. Andy. I'm not gonna say it. Not this time. Steve, you gonna drive that turd or what? You running your mouth again to me? Yeah. You need to do something with your phone. Man, you need to apologize, Andy. Ain't happening. Whatever, dude. I can't do it. Come on, man. Dude, are you gonna introduce me to some chicks out here or what? I'm not gonna introduce you to anybody because you've done enough damage out here today. Hey, Amy, what's happening? Hey. Now, this will work. Oh, this goes against my better judgment, but... Hey, girl, why don't you take me for a little ride? Oh yeah! What in the world is happening out here today? See ya! This is crazy! Now Andy, you know this video is about trucks, right? Yeah! If it's a truck full of honeys! Opilicious. What's wrong? You don't like uh, my name, Opilicious? Well, how about this? Since I'm an app, my name is Appilicious. Bitches, there ain't one licious in this. Opilicious. Now there's two. Haha, <laughs> that's trademark, bitch. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, no it's not. You wanna make a bet? Yeah. I'm out, bitch. Girl, you are so <laughs> smoking hot. You know I take care of you. Oh, Andy, you're so funny. You ain't gonna be laughing in a minute, girl. Yeah. Ask her. No. Absolutely not. Skylar's a friend of mine. I'm not going to say that. Let me handle this. So, you like it in the app? Oh! I said app! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. It was him! 
It wasn't even me. <laughs> it was a stupid cat. You just got knocked the F out. This is not working out. Andy, this is not the time or the place. I'm telling you, this is not a good idea, dude. Does your boyfriend have a truck? Matt Steele's about to get his ass whooped. Dude, it's the app. No, dude, it's not me. Whoa, hey, it's the freaking app. It's not me, guys. Come on. Andy, seriously, I get it. I like it too, don't get me wrong, but we've got to get back to the basics, man. Whatever, dude. I'm on hold patrol. You know this video's about trucks, right? Yeah, I've heard that, but I know what the people really want to see. It's not working out, man. It's nothing personal, but every time corporate calls, the same stuff happens. I get beat up, I get smacked, I get yanked into the woods. I'm not having it, man. You're out. Come on, Matt. No, sorry, dude. It's nothing personal. But I love you. <laughs> event we run into something that's really confusing we just don't understand but I believe it was President Obama that said heritage not hate
having fun. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join these two in holy matrimony, the celebrated union of love and marriage between Jackie and the American Dream. We are here live. This is our first time having a wedding. We are excited about this. Everybody's dressed up and looking good. I apologize for being a little underdressed, but we're just going to go with it. Yeah, that's fine. All right, we're going to go with it. Uh, if there is anybody here this evening that feels that these two should not be married, we would ask you to just keep your damn mouth shut. I, the American Dream. I, the American Dream. Take you, Jackie. Take you, Jackie. To be my wife. To be my wife. It's all good. It's all good. All right, thank you. You're done. <laughs> I, Jackie. I, Jackie. Take you, the American dream. Take you, the American dream. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. And I promise I'm not going to about like five years later when I'm thinking I got this nice house, you know, and I'm not even working and it's not good enough. Oh, oh wait, sorry, it got a little personal. <laughs> Very nice. The ring is round. It has no end, much like the love that these two have for each other. <laughs> What's so damn funny about that? <laughs> That's what they say at every damn wedding. Is this the part where we kiss? I mean, they kiss? <laughs> right? By the power vested in me, which is absolutely nothing, I now pronounce you, Mr. and Mrs. American Dream. You may French kiss your bride. once again for another Trucks Gone Wild vocabulary lesson. Today's word is swicket, but as always, we've got to use that word in a sentence. Can you do that? That bitch is swicket. You know, Dream, I travel all around this country, man, and people are saying, that American Dream guy, to be honest, is becoming a little bit of a camera whore. And I want to know what you think about that. Oh, I think, you know, I'm just here doing it for fans. Yeah, all right, now listen, you can jump the truck and run and show off and do what you do, but if you want to be the number one camera whore, my friend, you got to take it up to another level. you got to step it up, right? Okay, well, what do you think about this? He's snapping his fingers. Oh, well, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. All right, so you snap your fingers and we got some girls in here. Yeah. I mean, but you can do better, don't you? I could do better. Why don't we take a look at the backside, man? Now, who's the number one camera whore? Oh, that would be the dream.
Dancing, it's gonna be spectacular. Yep, we'll be back after this message. <laughs> Cowboys Orlando, are you guys ready for the first ever Trucks Gone Wild Pole Dancing World Championships?
He is internationally known as Red Neck. Pudding Creek, 2011. Massachusetts. Vermont. New Hampshire. Maine. Connecticut. All in New England's here to kick some ass. Pennsylvania, checking in. We got 10 or 12 people, three badass trucks. We're ready to tear it up. I'm Dusty. This is Boone from St. Louis, Missouri, and I don't know what's going to happen. We got the biggest and the baddest trucks from Paulding County, because that's how Dallas rolls. The liver killer is here from Baltimore, South Kakalaki. We drove 16 hours from Illinois. We're here for the reunion. Yeah! It's Bam Bam from Bam Bam Biggins in Four Corners, Florida. We drove 20 hours from Michigan in this. We're rolling 15 strong out of Indiana. This is Dave Chad. We're from 904x4 Off-Road Club in Jacksonville, Florida. Coming to you live from the mud pit in Perry. All right, stop the music, cut everything. Hold on for just a second. You know, a lot of times I get accused of exaggerating. It's like when I say that people come here from all over the country, sometimes other people don't believe me. Listen, bottom line is this. When Matt Steele says it, it's gold. So we travel all over the world and, and girls are always asking us to autograph their body parts and that's cool. Now this here is a little bit different, but I mean, I'm fine with it, right? Dallas Georgia Love starts to go wall! <laughs> Check this out, I love this thing. That's the way to ride around. Adam, what's up with the wagon, man? Well, anybody can have a wagon with four tires. Yeah, that's a very good point. Now everybody's here to party with the Pee-wee. That's why they come here, to party with me.
Jimmy Man Trucks looking good. We're looking for some good stuff out here. This is gonna run more than two minutes. Dude, that's the question everybody's asking out here. You need redemption out here this weekend, Jimmy. Well, wait. Who is he and what happened to his hat? Bring it. The world wants to know, man. Is Jimmy going to put on a show? He's going to run more than two minutes. Did you fix it or what? I mean, what the That's the question of the day. I thought Jimmy fixed it. I don't know. He's blamed it all on Riggit. Oh, man. He always does that. You know what happens? Jimmy comes home. He acts like he works hard all day. He don't do nothing. Then he wants to come around and I'll work on my truck, fix all my stuff. You know what I ain't doing? You know what I'm going to do this weekend? I'm going to sit around and drink Bam Bam all weekend. I ain't doing nothing. Jimmy's flying in, Jimmy's driving, and Jimmy's out. Parts Doug is the freestyle champion out here this afternoon. Congratulations, brother. And I got one of these. You've been looking for one of these for a while. Yes, we sir, call that the big ass check. Congratulations. It's all yours, man. How did it feel? Felt real good. Uh, the truck worked great. I mean, they had the transmission from Monster held in, case from SES held in great. It just I got a few little bugs to work out, but other than that, I was loving it. You killed it out there. You hit the jumps. You went in the mud. You backsided that little bump for a big jump on the end. I think out of everybody out there, man, you hit everything. Congratulations. I know there were a lot of people out here today seeing the new spare parts truck for the first time. And I think this was a good way to break it in, man. A lot of people are going, I can't wait to see it again. Hey, it felt comfortable. Like I said, let me get a little more seat time in it. And it shows on, dude. I love it. The, Let's the, do it, baby. The new truck's great. Let's take it to the next level. Spare parts, though, congratulations, man. This check is all you, brother. You earned it. It's Trucks Gone Wild's first trip ever to the Meadowee Off-Road Park in Granville, New York. And when you drive around, you see the mountains and the trees and the rivers, and you realize there's some of the best scenery in the country and chat.
check. Stay with me, dude, right here. Like I was saying, when you drive around and you look at the mountains and the trees and the rivers, you realize some of the most beautiful scenery in the country is right... Dude, you, you gotta stay with me, Chad. Like I was saying, this place is awesome. Whenever we go to a place for the very first time, I like to know they've got enough stuff there for everybody to do. It's kind of like a checklist, you know, I gotta keep everybody entertained. So let's run it down. Okay, so we got a tire pit, we got that. We've got a big mulch hill for people to climb over. We've got a log roll thing. We got the bowl of doom, that's pretty cool. We got 60 or 70 different trails all through the woods, that's pretty cool. Uh, tug of war pad, excavator, helicopter, people partying. But man, I can't put my finger on it. There's one more thing. I can't think of it right now, but I gotta find it somewhere. I don't know what it is, but I'm working on it. the deal with this intake, man. I like it. That there is the Home Depot special. <laughs> 30 bucks and an igloo cooler and k and air filter in there and that's all you need. Keep it out of the mud. Very nice, man. Usually we see the coolers like inside. You got one of those yeah, too? Yeah, bigger one inside. Very cool. Nice, Joe. I like the way you think. weekend on Sunday. Thanks for tearing it up for us, man. We appreciate it. You got it, brother. Let you know me tell you. you. Man, I, I showed up yesterday late and my truck was running like, you know, and I don't like to do that. I was disappointed and then it rained all night. It rained all morning this morning. We got up at like six and got it going for you guys. And hey, the, the rain kind of did its thing. Different. You got the wild ride on it. You got the people rooting you on it's cool. And you got the best trophy of the day right here, too. Huh? Look at that. So, how'd daddy do? Yeah. Yeah. yeah.
Brooks Gone Wild returns to the East Coast Off-Road Park in Hortense, Georgia for the third time. Today, it's all about these, the all-new TGW Temporary Tattoo. People are going crazy over these things, and as you can see, it's getting out of hand quick. Let's go, Wild! So, men don't hug in South Carolina, huh? Negative. But you're, you're okay with another man putting a temporary tattoo on your neck? Uh, just for 20 seconds, yeah. That's a turn Straight story. out of prison. Yeah. Crazy mother <laughs> named Twitty. <laughs> <laughs> Where's it going? I'm thinking. Right here. All right, that's a perfect spot. Let's take a look. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. AJ's gonna stand out. Where are we putting this one, baby? Right on the forehead. Right on the forehead. All right, we might want to hear. Let's do this. Now listen, for uh, facial type applications like this, they say get the towel extra wet. All right. So just hold that. Don't. Whatever you do, don't move. Don't go. Don't go anywhere. We need to make sure this is seriously. That's a lot of beer, baby. Are you questioning my application? No, not at all, not at all. AJ, I'm a damn surgeon. I hear that. I'm a professional. All right. One, <laughs> two, three. It's very cool. I'm soaking it through my forehead. This is going to look good, AJ. You're going to, all right, you ready? That's ready. This is, this is going to look so hot. Dude, look at that. Woohoo! <laughs> going wild, baby. All right, Meredith, here's the deal. You know what it's all about. Where's it going? Right here. All right, that'll work. You all right with that? <laughs> one, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Three, one thousand. It's looking good. <laughs> bam, bam, I'm not trying to sound weird or anything, but is there a place on your body that doesn't have a lot of hair? Uh, yeah. We're not asking about the places. <laughs> right there. <laughs> all right. Right <laughs> there. <laughs> Just be quiet for 20 seconds and deal with it. Yeah, give him a beer. At least give him a beer. I think we're ready for the big reveal. And pot oh, oh, right Have a nice day. They say water, but the beer actually makes it stick a lot better. It How won't. It, it does. It'll last at least an extra day. Just go wild, baby. Woo! Now, Big Ed, you've got a lot of ink, man. Tell me a little bit about these. Well, I tell you, Matt, uh, I got a lot of ink, and uh, they all tell a story. But my favorite one is right here. Oh, truck's going wild, baby. Tram stamp. Tram stamp. <laughs> what color off-road? That's how we roll, bitches. This is the test this run. Is the time, yeah. How's it feeling? Great. Can you get used to it? Yep. It'll take a little bit of time, but I can get used to it.
Nasty Boys Off Road. That's how we roll, Beaches. So, Hank, dude, let's talk about this, man. Congratulations. Freestyle win. That's got to feel good, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's always good to win from. Here's what we need to do. We need to quit doing donuts, dude, because it no, always it ends to, uh, bad. And I'm not, not talking always. about those nice little raised-up things that you fry and put sugar on. Those are good. Yeah. It's that that ruins your truck. No, That's what we need to quit doing. That just happens every now man. Let's have real talk. Real talk. Real talk, dude. Real talk. Big Nasty is in the house. Yeah. Big Nasty is the Georgia freestyle champion. Yeah. Is anybody ever going to take that, bro? Oh, no. No, not long. Big Snatch is still rolling. It's Thanksgiving weekend in Bithlow, Florida, and this is the inaugural turkey shoot. We're talking about big hills, big jumps, sharp corners, you name it. It's out here this afternoon, and we've got guys in from all over the country. This is going to be a crazy, crazy day. in motorsports today right now. Ryan, tell me what you think about this out here this afternoon. It's going to be awesome, man. we got a course like we do at North vs. South. Big bus out here, everything. i got a big blower on my truck now. So I'm going to definitely tear something up. I don't know what. Whether it's going to be track, me, truck, whatever. But we don't care. We come to Florida for a reason. That's to show these guys how to do it. Who's this old dude hanging out stalking you, man? Who's this guy? I don't know. He follows me around all the time. He sponsors <laughs> me and stuff. His Hey, this is awesome out here. I love the track, man. That's exciting. I think we're going to see yeah. some good stuff. It is, Matt. I'm telling you, dude. You know, it's like the, the Battle of the North and South when we started talking about that years ago. Yep. We finally got it going. Here we are talking about it. But these obstacle courses, this is going to be the deal right here, man. We love it. This, you got a combination, a little bite of everything. You got hill and hole. You got the flat pit. You got uh, big air jumps out there. Yep. You got yep. a taste of everything. It's a buffet for a mud bog. We're in North Carolina or Florida. If the truck says Island Off Road anywhere on it, it's a crazy run, man. Oh, yeah, that's hell. Uh, we're bringing it all, trying to do the best we can.
Man, it's been a couple of years, dude. I mean, we see each other, but we don't hang out as much as we used to. It's great to have you down here, and I was talking to your dad and Ryan. I love the combination of uh, blower motors and leaf springs. You know, I really do, too. I was just feeling, you know, back in the day when I was a kid at the shows and stuff, 91 was about my time. That was my, my limelight. So I built a truck that was pretty much a 91 monster truck with 18 Ford 26s, and it's, it's ready to let her eat out here today. That's very cool. Yeah. Kind of like an old school thing. I actually started out more old school, and I wasn't even going to go to the extreme I have now, and now it's a lot safer than I originally was going to build it. It's a lot faster than I was originally going to build it, and it probably has about the same amount of travel it was going to have when I was originally going to build it. Well, safer is not a bad thing, especially, you know, with your whole lineage kind of thing that you have. Truck's going wild. We're out here at Biffalo, throwing down. I'm out here with all my fans, friends, family. This is Thanksgiving weekend. We're doing it up, baby. Had some turkey, had some mud, went to Turkey Rod Run, had fun. John, we talked earlier after that first run and that rollover, one of the island off-road trucks out here, we always know you guys are a party to watch, man. And you got the Big Air Award too, man. A lot of things going on today, right? Uh, yes, sir. We uh, tore the truck up the first time, rolled it over, broke axle shafts, pulled two tires off. Uh, we got it all back together, brought it back out here and uh, tried her again. Man, that was crazy too. You must have been, I don't know, 15, 16 feet up in the air. I got to imagine what it, what it looked like from, from your angle up there looking down. Uh, yeah, couldn't see a whole lot half the time. Man, y'all came down here, you put on a hell of a show, and you got a trophy to show for it. Brother, we appreciate it. Always appreciate good to it. see you guys, man. We'll see you next time around. Thank you. Thanks a lot. We'll be back. been crazy out here today. I don't even know how to describe it. Jimmy's going to take us out, man. Jimmy Riggid, out.
Stop, bitches! You put. Oh, what are we gonna say? I'm not even drinking yet. Oh, who's the number one camera whore now, bitches? <laughs> so there's been a lot of pressure, and I guess it's finally time to put on my own Trucks Gone Wild temporary tattoo, and I'm gonna use Big Ed as my inspiration. So here goes. The vodka actually makes it stick a little better, right? Chuck? Whoa, whoa! Whoa! Usually it's a little warmer. Whoa! Alright, just, just hold it right there, Chucky. 20 seconds. I know that's asking a lot. That's, there's a little, hey, that's a little, little heavy on the pressure. Just saying. Reminds me of my last colonoscopy. Is that, you got your thumb on my cheek, actually. What? <laughs> it's not going in. You really have to make that face. This is not good. It's not, it's not taken. It's not taken. Oh, A little sticky. Ow! Oh. It was a little quicker than I thought it was gonna be, so I'm a little disappointed. But I mean, I'll be all right. This is Mean Gene Chucky D, first annual Royal Girls Mud Bash. <laughs> I, I screwed that up. This is ambush tattooing. Follow me, let's see what happens. They are a they are a free they are a free yeah, are a with man, man. Uh -huh. Nobody tell him what's going on. <laughs> He's wounded. I need to put it on He's wounded. <laughs> we could be seriously injured. That tire spoils up. <laughs> Get hit with a hit with a tread. Upside down. Bam. I think it's tomorrow I'll be standing on my head. <laughs> this is probably the biggest cooker we've seen out here all weekend long. Now this is Master Chef Head McGee Head. What do you have cooking up here for everybody? Why do they call you Head? Head? Because I ain't from around here. So Eric, you guys come down from North Carolina, and I gotta know, what would you do if you were king for a day? I'd have somebody do this all day long. Oh, you gotta jerk it at the end, remember? Oh. You forgot the jerk. You forgot the jerk. All right, Kim, so if you were king for a day, what would you do? <laughs> <laughs> Bloopers. Sorry. Ready? One more time. check on the track, I gotta get with Vance and Brian. If I don't get moving, I'm not gonna get everything done. Oh, wait, I'm good here for a minute. Sometimes I want some beef jerky, but sometimes I'm a little tired. Well, now there's perky jerky. It's like an energy drink in your beef jerky. Bitches. That's kind of hot. We're all stuck. It's like, it's like Beardo Velcro. You know what I mean? That's the first time I've ever done that. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the first time I've that's the first time I've ever done that in Maine during the day on a Saturday with a redhead. Yeah. Hey, we got a nice camper over there. <laughs> Jimmy Riggett coming all the way up from Florida. I don't know who's been growing it out longer, man. You or me, right? Well, my wife said I didn't need to grow it out anymore. Well, she's not here. <laughs>
You're out of state, Jimmy. <laughs> Here we have a lovely young uh, New Jersey native named Chrissy. Chrissy, what do you think about Maine? <laughs> no comment. You guys are drinking like Baldy. <laughs> Baldy. Sounds like a good guy. I think it's pretty cool that Chuck E. D. brought one of his mud trucks all the way up here to Maine. You saying he wanted to wear the dress? Yeah. <laughs> yes. And he wanted to have thongs on too. Yes. And a bra. <laughs> What's your name? Squash. <laughs> because I have a lisp and I sound like a retard, <laughs> so they want to make fun of me by comparison to the retard. This might tickle a little. Hi. Hi. Okay. That, that was second. uncomfortable. Hey, nice pitch on the beer earlier. You know, ever since they redesigned these things, they're a little tricky to get in and out of. Whew. This is really funny because this is something we don't typically see at the mud hole. You do. It's all about hygiene at the mud hole. You're here with Bam Bam Big Guts? <laughs> what? <laughs> big Guts? Hold on, hold on, hold on! Big hold on. <laughs> <laughs> You're in Vermont. You're not a biggie. Here? I'm here. We're here? We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. Then you're here. Damn nobody. You know we're going to make the blue. Here. here. We're here? We're going to the bar. We're going to start the car? Maybe. Later. How do you say lobster? 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 Lobster. Lobster. Monster lobster. Monster lobster. Wicked big lobster. Wicked big lobsters. <laughs> Woo. When you're out here at the mud hole, it's all about staying clean. They got a nice wash station out here, so you need a little soap. Boom, we got that. Little hand sanitizer. We got that. Maybe you're feeling a little guilty about what you did last night. A little dirty. Look at this. A five-gallon bucket of hand sanitizer. You just pump it up and get it going, baby, and wash away the regret. Oh yeah. I want to be on something, you know what I'm saying? Just the news, hey. the sound. Tout le monde de Louisiana, puis tous les filles de Piquet, ça vient ici pour... Oh, stop cut. The Twitter, everybody Twitter. You know, you Twitter, you got the face of space, and, uh, and all of that, and, and they got the Twitter. Ça, c'est bon. Oh, that's good, yeah. The most important thing when you come to any of these events around the country is finding the right group of people to party with. Even good girls go back! Oh, yeah! Over the last couple of years, tracks have become more sophisticated, and you've seen what's going on with the trucks. I mean, technologically speaking, these things are incredible, and the tracks are coming along. Hey, here's your paper plate. You're going eighth. All right? Cool. All right. Keith, I've been telling guys for years, the idea with this whole truck thing is to get into the merchandise, man. What's this all about? Dude, I found this foam finger in a trash can, poured it out, and said, we weren't cocky. I said, steamboat. Steamboat, <laughs> God, dude. That's right. That's right. Dennis Anderson just kissed me on the mouth. On the ears, stupid. No, okay. A boy can hope, can he? <laughs> you know?